I saw some kids break dancing the other day, and I went and did a little up rock, and they were like, Oh, uncle, uncle. As soon as they said uncle, I was like, I'm out. <laughs> All right, welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing. You got Lanai, and that's Brooke Lee. We've got Hi. a special guest today. I'm going to let you introduce her, because usually I do all the introductions. You're going to introduce our guest today. Why? Yeah, because I want to see how you introduce. Well, I don't need the paper. You do a, I booked you do a, her. I know, because you do a, a another TV show. Yeah. So I want to see how you introduce our guest today. Well. Because we, this this is our, how, what season is this? This is nine. Season nine. So and, you're phoning and it I've in now? Introduced. Is that what it is? No, go ahead, please. Okay. All right. Well, so we have on the show today Leela Lee, who's a very good friend of mine. She uh, is very prolific. She's an actor. She is a cartoonist. She is a voiceover artist, correct? Like, yeah, mm -hmm. she does it all. And I love her to death. And she was, like, happy enough to come on the show. So, hi, Leela. Leela, how are you? Hi, Lanai. Thanks for having Thanks me Thanks for on. being on the show. That was good, Brooke. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, maybe we should do the next one, too. Okay. Leela, tell everybody, what is the angry little girls behind you? Oh, Angry Little Girls is a weekly comic strip. I draw it every morning. I post it on my Instagram and Facebook. And I tried TikTok, but I, I can't get into it. Really? <laughs> TikTok's I'm not a thing? so old. I tried too. I can't get Even into it. Even during the pandemic, you weren't like, I'm just going to commit and just like get no, it out there? I there's so much to keep up with. Yeah, too many and it's things. all I fractured. Yeah. I hate Twitter. Yeah. I'm on it, but I hate it. I can't even remember my password. So why would you add <laughs> something else? Yeah, yeah, it's just so much. But anyway, so I draw the weekly comic and it started as Angry Little Asian Girl. Yes. Uh -huh. I started it in college. Yeah. I like that um, better. I was OG. I did too. I, was, I jumped on board with that. Do you go back and forth? Do you just stay Angry Little well, Girls? Well, so when I was, when I started out and I was, I had Angry Little Asian Girl t-shirts. It actually started as a short animated video. Uh -huh. And uh, I had this light bulb idea that I would make some t-shirts off of it. And I started like selling it out of the trunk of my car. So all these women that would come up and be like, oh my God, I'm angry too, but I'm not Asian. <laughs> <And> I, <laughs> That's so funny. Wait, they'd say I'm angry, but I'm not Asian. So they wanted yeah. to include it. Wow. So they couldn't wear it. So I was like, wow, like women are angry. <laughs> We're yeah. all angry. I think you should do another line now. Angry little Karens. Oh Lord. Have oh, mercy. you know what? I actually called myself a Korean Karen. Yeah. I, was, I was at the movie theater with my sons and they wouldn't <laughs> let my little son use the bathroom. And I just kind of pitched a fit. I'm like, why can't he use the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> and there was this big long line. And, and then my kids were so embarrassed. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I, <laughs> I like, cause I'm small. Ooh, she's so like when you're small to get heard, yeah. you have to sometimes like, like a chihuahua, really puff yeah. yourself up. <laughs> so um, I did get him to like, I did get the employee to let him use the bathroom. Nice. But Good it job. was like, cause he was telling me to go across the foyer in like turn left. It was like dark at night. Because and of I'm what? Like, it was the like, COVID wh situation? Where is that bathroom? Um, like, are we going to get you ha You have to do it. Angry little yeah, Korean so girl. Oh, he, she has yeah, them all. So oh, you do them all. She's an equal opportunity oh, okay. anger what, person what, now. Do you, are you doing the angry little Karen? You got to do angry little Karen. That's so hot right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know. I'll let someone else do Kyle. that. <laughs> so is it I Kyle? called myself a Korean Karen because I was like that. I double, had a Korean double Karen edged sword. Yeah. Oh, that's so. Because so I'm not cool. exactly an Ajuma. Like no. I. I mean, I you're I could line, curl though. my hair you could. and wear a visor. I'd be right. Ajima. You're like I'm not a really modern Ajima. Ajima. You're like I'm a sort modern. of Americanized. What the hell is an Ajima? That's like a Lola, I guess, for Filipinos. Oh, oh okay. An Ajima, Ajima oh, yeah. is like a Lola. Grandma. Yeah, so what? how many books do you have? Um, I have published six books. I'm currently working on my seventh. Are you? So. That is awesome. Congratulations. Are you a self you. self publishing or are you with a publishing company? So um, publishing has changed a lot. I yeah. was published with Abrams. And then two of my books, I'll show you these ones, um, are still with Abrams. Okay. But my two earlier books, the yellow and the red ones, the rights reverted back to me. So I looked into self-publishing. And it is so easy for someone to become an author. It's really, <laughs> like, the game has changed. I wanted to get, I wanted and your, I wanted your. I, he just self-published, yeah. that's why. I'm going to self-publish. I just finished yeah. writing mine. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's so, Better? it's, the point of entry is so low now. It's yeah. not like, you definitely need to get, like, somebody to look at it, proof it, get yeah. a book designer yeah. and all that. But, like, the, but, it, but it's so much, like, 
it's so better for the art author because you get to control yeah. all of the rights. Your, well, you get a bigger you know, piece the of the chunk too, right? Because I mean, if you're getting a publisher, you get they give you a fifty cents or whatever. You do your yeah, own thing. Also, you get a big they, chunk. Sometimes, if you um, do it with a traditional publisher, they can actually keep the rights to your book, yeah. and you can't do anything else further. Yeah. They give you ten percent royalty, and if you have a book agent, you have to give fifteen percent of that to the book agent. Yeah. Um, and it's very common that all you ever see, if you're an author with a traditional publishing contract is the advanced and you'll never right. ever see a royalty. What about your distribution? Are you distributing it yourself? Um, so do you know Ingram spark, right? I heard the, the name. You should look into it because really? you're self publishing. Okay. Yeah. They, they will do, they will do the distribution worldwide Can for you. Can you send me the info? <laughs> For sure. sure. Yep. She'll the DM it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll yes. send you the stickers. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, we'll stick it. Book. Oh, we'll put a book behind here, just Ooh. like you oh, have. Oh, thank Brooke's you. Thing, Brooke's book show. Yeah. All right, we're going to take a little break. Don't go anywhere. It's a Hawaii thing. Bringing you what matters. Viewers can receive the Star Advertiser digital full access subscription for just $9.95 per month. Go to StarAdvertiser.com and click on subscribe. Use the code AHI THING. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. We got Leela Lee. Leela Lee. So are you Korean, Chinese? I'm Korean. Just full Korean. I didn't know there was... Full Korean. Oh, yeah. Brooke Lee. Hi. <laughs> you guys related? No. No. Uh, you are. No. Kind of. No, because I'm a Cho. Oh, you're a Cho. Yeah. That's I mean, we, we could be. If we yeah. went she wants back. to be. Just be nice. Yeah. I mean, related. but people... That's how when I became Miss Universe and went to Korea, people were like, oh, my last yeah. name is Lee. We're probably related. I'm like, no, my grandfather's real last name was Cho. He changed it to his stepfather's name, Lee. So all of my real Korean relatives are all Cho's. Okay. And they're like, oh, so I have I, no idea. She so you also changed our last... Or my dad changed our last name, too. Bro, I was a Yi. Really? Yi. Mm -hmm. Cho, so you're like a Cho Lee. Y, like a Y-E-E -E or Y-I? <laughs> Why? Come on, that Why was I? funny. I ignored yeah. it. Everyone else laughed. You didn't hear. Get that was funny, wasn't it, Lena? I can write for comedy too. So tell yes. everybody. Obviously, it's angry little girls. But what is it? What's the meat? What's your what's your comics like for people who don't know? Well, well, when I first started, it was just me venting about how I felt between two worlds. Uh -huh. You know, you guys can relate. Totally. And um, and then as I kind of there's just a lot to unpack because uh -huh. you're there's so many rules to being Asian and you've got to keep your <laughs> so many rules yeah there's so many rules especially right? for a and girl and you're especially supposed for to be girls. respectful yeah. but quiet and then when you get into like the like go outside into the American world you're supposed to be assertive and uh -huh. like a cowboy and <laughs> individual rights and all that so it's like I you know I was just trying to process like who being between I? those two belief systems. Yeah. 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 And then the little character is so cute, but like she's swearing, like everything is like all the asterisks yeah. and the at signs. I can't wait to see it. I got two daughters. So yeah, I, I loved it. I can't it. wait to see it. And From the it. minute I saw it. daughters? Uh, 23 and 18. Oh, they'll like it. Yeah. yeah. They'll get it. Yeah. They'll get it. And, yeah, and they're Asian, it, you know what I mean? So maybe I'll get the Asian mm -hmm. ones, the Asian book. Oh, yeah. I mean, so the, my are. book that I'm working on right now, it's <laughs> going to come out kids. before Mother's Day. It's called Angry Little Asian Girl Moments with My Mother. Oh, man. oh that's going to be good. I, we, you got to do <laughs> Angry Little next, Filipino Moments, too. That's, that's a, good, a little another, generational. Yeah. like. So you're not only a, a comic strip. Is that is that the term? Comic strip? Cartoonist. 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 You also are an actress. I am. You've done some mm -hmm. incredible things. Better Call Saul. What a show. What oh a show. God. Shameless. What a show. All the shows <laughs> I like. Grey's Anatomy. I watched like the first five seasons. Which which season were you on? Oh, goodness. I know there's 150 of them now. Season 55? Yeah. I don't yeah. even know. I got to go like, look it up. I, I was in love with Grey's Anatomy when it first came out. Yeah, I was too. I watched it I watched it pretty pretty religiously. And then I think I had kids or something. I don't know. Like, yeah. just, Who's the main yeah. the main actor again? The guy? What's his name? Patrick Dempsey. Patrick he's not, Dempsey. But he, he hasn't he's been no on longer it. on right, it. I know, I but he was they, kind of the guy who made it famous, right? Because well, he was, he was uh, Meredith yeah. Grey's love. Mer and both of the, those two. They were the main stars. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I liked him when he was on when he was on there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, they've brought him back for tricks here and there. Have but they? It's like, a, it's like a soap opera. He now, died, huh? so he's in flashbacks. Oh, did Not he? to give it away to the world. But yeah, it was a while ago. Yeah. Oh, you just spoiled that one for me. Yeah. 
He is yeah. in heaven. My 18 year old watches it now. Oh, wow. It's like a new generation watches of it. Grace. Yeah. yeah. I've heard that, that um, the daughters of the mom fans are giving it new life yes. because they love it. Yeah. Right, right, right. And that's why I get came, like I watched five seasons maybe and then I was stopped and then she's like, oh, I started watching this show, Grey's Anatomy, you should watch. And I was like, what? I was watching <laughs> yeah, That's a long time ago. Uh, it's like Young and the Restless. But they're still going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like they just got renewed. So are you doing any acting right now? Um, I have to say COVID's been really challenging, I think. Um, I still do like self-tape auditions, but yeah. the last role I had was really Better Call Saul. It was so fun being on that set, though. I, I tried show. really hard to be cool um, <laughs> so because so... they're the people that are yeah, responsible yeah, yeah. for uh, Breaking Bad. Yes, that's and, why I watched it. Oh, my God. That show is like television, like, like royalty. Has, yeah, it's like the best show of yeah. all. I think to me, it's like, you know, there's a couple of shows that are on the short list of like the best shows of all time. And I think Breaking Bad is. So if you like Breaking Bad, did you yeah. do you watch Ozark? Yes. That's like the new I Breaking Bad. Get into it. Oh, it's you gotta yeah. get you gotta go get yeah, past the that Silver Spoons guy. What's his name? But, but Jason, Jason Bateman. 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 He's so yeah. good. He's Bateman. amazing. Bateman. And then yeah. he's winning a award. The girl is awesome. Uh, Julia Garner. Julia Garner I is love a really her. amazing actress. She's the she's the best um, cursor in the world. Okay. Well, she that's... can curse. She can throw out the <laughs> f word really well. That's a thing. We gotta mm -hmm. take a quick break. All right. Don't go anywhere. Leela's hanging out with us. It's a Hawaii thing. Angry Asian girls. Long's Drugs is always here for Hawaii, providing your family with their local favorites, accessible health and wellness services to keep you safe and healthy. Make Long's a part of your day. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. We're talking story with Leela Lee. Uh, angry is a gift. Angry little girls. Uh, what else you got there? Angry I little girls. I mean, it's girls. a cottage industry, How many girl. books? How many? You seven, you say, you had? I have six books that are published, and I'm working on my seventh. And they're all and called. The seventh will be self-published. Are they all called Angry Little Girls, and then a different type subtitle? Yeah, but the seventh one will be Angry Little Asian Girl Moments with My Mother. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be some yeah. next level. And then you all, it looks like you have other things behind you. Do you like cards? Is it or yeah. dolls? She's a whole yeah, industry, I have, bro. Um, I have magnets, cards, stickers, art prints, keychains, plush. She does the Comic Con um, basically circuit. Basically, whatever I could put it on, yeah. I'll try to get it on there. <laughs> And she moves. How do like, you like her merch moves? How do you like doing uh, Comic Con? I got to do one one year. I thought it was so amazing. Oh my god, Comic Cons are so cool. They're yeah. just like all of, like the the kids that are into what you like, yeah. and you guys have things in common. So yeah. you just like are just excited about the the fandom and the history, and then it's 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 like being a kid again. <laughs> Yeah, yeah it's like going to again. Disneyland. I have a really good friend who has, a, he just got it appraised, a half a million dollars worth of Funko toys. You what? know the collectible Funkos? Because he has like, yes. yeah, like number, he has number one Freddy Funko, which is like six feet tall. That's like a $50,000 because there's only one, you know? But anyway, I used to tease him like, you're such a kid. That's why you're never going to get married. You're such a kid. He's not married yet. Uh, and then they made me a Funko and I say, Ooh, I like this stuff. Uh, <laughs> look, look, look at behind me. I got some of my own little collection here. But toys. when you are you still you Ultraman back there? Yeah, Ultraman Kikaida. Are you? Yes. Uh, did you do last year's? Con no, not last year. Before pandemic that. Comic Con, the one right before. Uh, my last one that I did was 2019. So it was right before that, the pandemic. That's the one I, I was asking because um, what's his name? Talk show host Coco. Uh, Red hair. What are you talking about? Um, Conan O'Brien? Oh, Conan O'Brien. So he did a, he did the, was it 2019 or 2000? Yeah. He did a, he was there, right? And he shot part oh, of his show there. Live. I don't know. I think it was yeah. 18. Were maybe. you there that one? Um, I really I wanted to go. I was there in 2019, but I, I was in the booth, like, you the know, working. So yeah. I didn't get to go be a fan of everything. But yeah. if he was there... Yeah, they had a they had a stage on the floor. I think it's was 2018. It? When 2018. Did it. No. I don't think it was 2019. Because it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Now you can't even get a hotel room. Well, yeah, it's you got a like stage an hour away. Just Marvel's to like its own world there. Right. They have a whole huge booth. Funko is its own and world. world. And then, do you do the little parties? The uh, throughout the week they have these little parties, you know, from the different groups <laughs> in the hotels. I. I'm not cool enough to get into those parties. Oh, the stop. one year that I was on Tremors, so the sci-fi 
publicist oh. got me into the her like the parties that she Shy knew of. You don't know died. Tori Mel. Tori Mel will get you in all those <laughs> no, parties. That's my husband. Don't even. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know Brooke Lee. Not She'll get thing. you in some of those parties. Not a thing. I. Oh, please. I'm also like working. I really like to be in bed by nine. Yeah. I know, <laughs> but that's the really net, that's the networking of uh, to me going to those things. Those parties are the ne that's the gold right there because all the celebrities go to those ones. Yeah, those parties are crazy. Yeah, my, so my, cool. my my husband worked for Star Trek, so he worked for Roddenberry Entertainment. So they always had a booth every year by Marvel. Mm -hmm. um, so all the truckies are there in full force. Do they so, have a party too? Did they throw one? Only on anniversary type uh, situations, but you know because Rod Roddenberry is Gene Roddenberry's son, they get invited to yeah. a lot of all of the other. No, I tell you why because so like Funko has a party every year and they throw <laughs> out all these toys like you can't get right. So if you get one, so they were throwing toys at our table like the table of ten. And I'm like, give them to a little kid, right? Who's sitting at the table. And then my friend goes, That's don't like give it away. Yeah. Keep it. And I was right. like, eh. So like the third one I kept. And then I fourth one, I had, I walked away with my first party with like five of them. I found out one of them sells for $5,000 now. <laughs> I didn't know this at the time. So what I was saying was if you threw your own party and you made one-offs or two-offs, oh, that's how you drive you. your your the dolls behind you price see up. look at him nft and ah, all your stuff you see what i'm saying okay. here mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway we can discuss that later if you need help yeah and then i'll take right, his thank you yeah. i'll take his commission no I, not at all i, I, won't take I think it's all fun it's there's so much to take in each time i get there yeah. i'm just like well, oh look at that oh look at that it's such an it's a really wide cool. opening amazing industry that we tease for so long and now everyone thinks it's cool mm -hmm. you know what it's i mean it's kind of like do you remember when uh I'm probably aging myself, but like in middle school, nobody liked K Rock. Only the freaks did. Yeah. But I liked it. Yeah. And then now it's just like Everybody's, mainstream. Yeah, it's yeah. no big deal. What, wasn't that Mark and Brian in the morning? That was KLOS. Oh, that was KLOS. Oh, you're good. You're LA. Yeah. You're totally LA. Yeah, she's a born and raised. Kevin and Bean. Kevin so and Bean were like, awesome. Oh. I love Kevin and Bean. I got to meet them once. Let's take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Uh, it's a Hawaii thing. For all your money needs, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union is here for you. Visit HiFiCU.com. Welcome back to the number one podcast out of Hawaii. We're it's a Hawaii thing. You got that. Lanai, and that's Brooke Lee. Hi. She has no, no confidence. I, I wonder how she even won Miss Universe because when I say this is the number one show, she's like, I don't believe you. Because said, well, it's just a podcast. It and own it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right, Leela? I'm a little angry yeah. Asian girl. Leela you're, knows. You're much more angry. Can you do one book just on Brooke Lee? Because <laughs> she's angry about everything. Dude, mm. when I saw her stuff, first you, of all, I was at relate. Irene Cho's yeah. house, by the way, and she had all your stuff. And I like walked in and it was like, I saw my spirit animal. Leela, I, like, I got an idea. Oh, you guys should collab and co-write a book. I have had like, be fine. this yes. is, she's expressing everything. Angry Leela. little Miss Universe. Wow. And yeah. Leela Lee. Yeah, you got to do one. That's a, She has so many angry things. Sometimes I think she needs therapy. Really? Or this is you her know, therapy. You know, therapy's good. It everyone is. Yeah. Yeah, and I, everyone should. I do. Yeah. I get therapy yeah. every day. Once a week and now I go therapy. No, you oh, you know what mm -hmm. I've been doing? What? I've taken Olelo classes. In Hawaiian? In ho that's usually what it is. Okay, Not, no, just German. checking. In German. <laughs> What's Olelo? Olelo is language. I mean, Papa that's what Olelo, the Hawaiian word language. means. Yeah. But he was So I'm on my, I took six classes. So I get two more of this. Uh, I got. Wait, yeah. wait. Uh, so. I don't speak the fluent. Hawaiian language is. What is, what is it? It's, oh. a, it's Hawaiian. It's Olelo. Well, Hawaiian? Olelo. It Papa Olelo is class. Oh. Yeah. So I'm taking uh, two a week. And Brooke uh -huh. seems like she still doesn't believe me for some um, reason. Like I don't Duolingo know or like, how are you doing no. this? I'm, I'm starting from kindergarten. The, the, I'm learning all the, how to Where pronounce Where though? Word. Are you at? I, it's called a school. Yeah. Uh, so are you yeah, going to? Yeah. A professor. At we, like UH? University of Hawaii. Or, yeah, oh, you're professor, at UH. Yeah. I went, wow. I went back to school. Look at you. So I go twice a week. You have to explain everything to yeah, her. Yeah, no, because I don't yeah. believe you, you see. <laughs> no, no, forever. And she you need to bring your grades me. in. Let's bring your grades in by next season. Well, I just started. Okay. So, yeah, so I'll bring you my season. report card yeah. when I'm done. You heard it, Hawaii. Leela, do you speak Korean? Oh, gosh. Like a toddler. Toddler. Do you, <laughs> do you, do you like um, the whole 
Korean movement with BTS and the singing and all that. Sub careful, men I'm, with makeup and all careful, that. Careful, like I'm, I'm a army member. Yeah, Card she's the president. Mm, yeah. So, she's the president yeah. for the Hawaii chapter. Not the Hawaii chapter, but <laughs> you know, it's so just it's so surprising to me because I was at Target behind a mom and a daughter, and they were white, just regular run of the mill, and um, the mom finished, and then the girl took out her own money to buy this box set with like some k-pop band and she was like pulling out her dog like she'd been saving for a long time and she's pink and i'm like i can't wrap her my head around like because i used to grow i mean i grew up being ashamed of what i look like I mean, right i grew up being like oh what are you chinese or japanese yeah yeah, like, yeah. i'm korean like, what is that? <laughs> so, so you're chinese in my no. lifetime to go from being like what's that to like this girl this white girl like pulling yeah. up her dollar bill everyone's like squid saving. games do you know them like what like squid games you're like okay let's relax for a second it's it's it it just is bonkers to me yeah. so i um i'm really glad for the representation yeah. and I, it just also is showing that like you know we're sort of a global village yeah so there's so much talent you guys you're so talented I look feel at you better, look at what you're doing you're i feel so talented. better for the midwestern like Asian American male in high school now because now he's getting way more play for prom than he probably ever did before. Who? Your average everyday oh, looking average, yeah. like guy yeah. from Palolo. Yeah, if yeah. he lived in right. like Kentucky, right. he was an outcast. I know what now you're he's the best friend of V and of is probably from BTS. Well, so. look, you have t shirts now that say, My best friend's Filipino. I do. Yeah. yeah. Oh wait. Are we, we gotta. Yeah. Wait, we gotta, are we done? Yeah. We gotta go to the extended version. Uh, like, this is such a good time. You know, time flies when you're having fun. We have gifts. Um, but we do have gifts for you, Brooke. Tell her what she's oh, won. Thank you. Really, guy. <laughs> um, so this is 88 tees. We got you some oh. shirts. Yeah. And then we also got you some pigeon emojis. We didn't get you just one shirt. We got you a bunch of shirts. Pigeonmoji.com has this is all a, of these uh, uh, fortune, fortune cookies. cookies. Hawaiian Chip Company. Thanks and to Jimmy and the gang at Hawaiian flavors. Chip Company. Yeah. Um, and Mini Hooney Max. You yes. should do an Some angry Mini Hooney. Chocolate with covered macadamia nuts. All coming Ooh. your way. Yeah. All coming your way. All right, we're gonna t we're gonna see you on the extended version. Thank you guys so much for watching. Gift certificate. Lee, 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 follow her on her social media. Go buy her book, Angry Little Girls. We'll see you guys next time. Ahui Peach ho. Emoji. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing, the extended version. I Make hate sure when you uh, extended. Okay, welcome back to the long version. Nope, don't like that word Which either. One, <laughs> would you, what would you like me to use? What would you like to use? The YouTube use? version. Extra. No, but extra. It's not, but <gasps> extra. It's, but it's not just on YouTube, guys. I hate to disappoint you. But it's extra. It's on. It's on also Spotify and so Apple and Google and. But it's all right, extra. welcome to the extra version. There you go. Where Brooke acts a little extra. Please subscribe <laughs> and uh, get a notification when extra. we ever put up a new one. I'm all right. extra. Uh, Lila is hanging out with us. Lila, tell us who's on your shoulder there. This is Kim, the angry little Asian girl. Nice. Is her last name Chi? Why? It's Lee. <laughs> Why would it be? Because she's Korean and Kim Chi. It's a play on words. Come I on. Just got your I joke. didn't get it either. You just I got it too. Yeah, oh my goodness. It. I didn't get maybe, it. maybe that should be your next one. The angry Kim, Kim Chi. Kim Chi. Wow. Because it's you know, spicy. It's been she's done. spicy. It's been done. It's I used been to done. have these little figurines that were like Kim Chi's. Oh, is little it? Little radishes, and they looked all angry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's okay. I'm late on that one. Yeah. So you. I'm telling you, Asian culture, they'll take anything, anything. Yeah. into a character. Especially it's, Japanese. It's, it's now, what, thing. what are you, Japanese, when I last time I was there, they had uh, a new character called Daikong. And it was just this one long Daikong that looked terrible. A radish? It, a radish, but it, it looked like a sperm. Okay. Like it was just one long. And they had big ones too, like six foot ones in this toy store. Yeah. And I was like... What are these slugs? And they said that's a radish, daikong. I With didn't like know. a face on it. Yeah, like a little cute? face. When then you know it's a character, right? Weird. They make characters out of everything, okay. like you said. They do. How many different? My favorite, Go ahead. Oh, Sorry. My favorite one that I collected. It was it was a while ago, but it was called kogepan, which is yes. bread. Yes. Yes, I saw that one. Oh, it's a piece of bread. Yes. Because he was sad that he wasn't white bread. Yes, it was wow. bread. It was a slice of bread. That's deep. And they had everything, pens and pillows and everything with them, wow. right? How many okay. different merchandise uh, items do you have? Oh, gosh, I have a lot. I mean, it's on bags, on wallets. Uh, it's going to be on makeup bags. I have nice. lunch bags. I have books. I have scarves. Good for you. Oh, these scarves are so funny. 
I made them because uh, I'm going to just show you, but I made them because I was invited to an Asian women's lawyers conference. Oh, yeah. And everybody's all like wearing power suits yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. so conservative and serious. <laughs> but they wiped me out. And of I'm all like, the scarves? Like scarves because they need flair. Oh, that's <laughs> cool. In the courthouse and they litigate. But she's like giving them little finger. Nice. Oh, that's that's awesome. What yeah. is it? A sheep? Oh, that's Kim. That's Kim. That's Kim. I see it. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. And she's like holding a fan. fan and and then she's the just mirror, like, yeah, like, f you. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So I just, uh, I just was like, I think everybody, every female knows what it's like to be angry, but it needs to be polite. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was like. It's so cute. She's so cute, but like she's like angry and swearing, and it was just like, ugh, my power animal. So where the where can you buy all your merch besides your website? Um, or they should go to your website, right? Isn't yeah, it better? Yeah, just the website. It's it's uh, I used to be in shops all over, but it was the the recession with the mortgage crisis kind of made everything kind of it got scary for a lot of shops. Well, online so we, is the way to go right now, anyway. Yeah, yeah, we sort of just retreated and just whatever um, hit out, and then um, so like. I have stuff on Amazon and sometimes to retailers, but basically the web, my website is. The so are you, place. are you running this empire by yourself or do you have like a warehouse somewhere when people are sending this out? <laughs> well, I, it's basically me, but I do have a distributor that has you have a, a distrib warehouse. Yeah. So it's a little bit of a hybrid and it's scalable, but like, I kind of really like doing it. I mean, you're going to shout With out the hands. husband or no, because wasn't he like, you, isn't he like, you have a, like set a, everything up a little Korean you. sweatshop with the husband running it? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my husband actually works in bicycles. Mm. Um, what kind of bicycles? Like right, bike riding a bike or he makes uh, he mongoose? He grew up racing bicycles oh, yeah. nice. and he knows all about bicycles. So he works with a pedal and a seat company and he does a lot of the warranty and the marketing and the consulting and cool just everything that's but awesome he he when we were dating he'd be like oh that bike was built in 1970 <laughs> and i'd be like what are you doing in computer software <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh so it was just a hobby oh my god he's like a white well, an encyclopedia he's like a, he just knows everything about bicycles the history of bicycles like everything i want to get one of those cool. you know those original bikes with the big tire in the front and the small one in the back yes with he the, even the made some of those. does he uh, you gotta send me i want to get one you're gonna die you do uh, yeah i want to get one you're gonna get hurt i want to okay, be the so only person in hawaii to get one made uh a, it's called a large bike but he was selling them to like a lot of basketball players how much are they like extra large penny farthing why was basketball players because like they're tall and they need a, like, they need a tall bike yeah right? but they're like it's million really dollars large. insured like it's in basketball players are into collecting things now like yeah. if you go see Shaq's house he has a museum of collectibles and everyone all these basketball players i'm realizing a lot of basketball players are collecting toys right like yeah. it's a like shoe collecting, right? The expensive mm -hmm. toys. Arrested development. So wait, he makes your your father in law makes them. Yeah, he made it, and then um, he ended up retiring. So Ken took over the inventory, but he has uh, I don't know how many he has. It was a limited run, but send me your web. Send me his website. I'd love okay, to see it. Yeah, yeah that's so awesome. Random. <laughs> Yeah, it is random. So but random. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm doing because her husband, so her husband is bike. literally like a, he's supportive. Like he goes with you to the comic cons, right? And mm -hmm. he like sets everything up, and you know they're like a team. Yeah. So I figured yeah, he was like really behind great. some I of the marketing. Really Sounds like I'm gonna yeah. like him because he likes random things and he knows the histories behind it. <laughs> I always I I do a lot of random things too. Just he does. well, look, I, I just took, went back to school and Brooke doesn't believe me. Verify that he is random. But that bike thing is cool. So so what's next for you? Do you just keep adding on to the empire? Yeah, just the the next thing is is really just to keep it going. I actually also during the pandemic was like I. I'm not done. There are other things I want to do. So, um, no animation. I think, um, I actually have an option with the production company, but the thing is that it takes so long. Yeah. So. I know. <laughs> well, you know, nowadays these kids are pumping out animation in India and the Philippines, like, mm. so it's going to get quicker and quicker. It, it is. But I think the whole process of like getting a show on the air from pitch to, you know, to, 
from you writing it this is a really long journey yeah yeah so i did i did have the um announcement and deadline uh it was like exciting and fun but i was like okay now i gotta hurry up and wait <laughs> <laughs> i can really see yours though like a south park animation where it's not mm -hmm. overly animated or produced it's more like moving mm. pictures because mm -hmm. she's so angry and the south park kids are so angry I could see yeah. you like having a guest appearance, her having a guest <laughs> appearance on South. With That's Carmen. what you should do is email them. Carmen. Yeah. Carmen. That'd so be, so, cause she, it'd be a great thing. Don't you think? She sticks That'd the middle finger. I, uh, she I, swears. I, I, yeah. They've been around forever. So when, when their spirit of christmas vhs was going around mm. um that's when i was like oh that's a lot like my angry little asian girl so i took it out of the drawer and i showed it to my friends and they're like you should do something with it so i actually think though like because i've been sort of doing a casual poll with all of my mom friends who have daughters mm. uh -huh. about what they're watching so I, I feel like for girls, they go from like being fifth graders to high schoolers. Totally. Oh, yeah. They yeah. They go up so fast. I know. Like yeah. In between, they're just like not yeah. getting to figure out that's, who they are. That's my yeah. two girls. Yeah, I get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think it's it's sped up nowadays because the imaging. Instagram. And the social media. Yeah. 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 TikTok. Do you, you know who, do you, Lila, you yeah. know who Bill Burr is, right? The comedian? Yeah. Yeah. So, did you see he took all his material and did an anim? He's doing an animation cartoon now. Really? Um, yeah. Isn't it, it F for Family? Yes. <laughs> fuck for Family. That's funny. Right? F Fuck for Family or something like that, right? We're on YouTube. That's why he's. Yeah. Well, no, it, I think it's just F for Family. I don't. I didn't know that if it was because it's pretty. Um, it's pretty family. Oh, I haven't seen it yet, but he's angry, so I thought it'd be angry material. No. He's angry, but I think he's really sensitive and intelligent. Very intelligent. He, he's a genius. Yeah, yeah he's, he's really very thoughtful in what he does. So I, um, I have watched a couple of them. Okay. And it's, it's actually really, um, championing cha like, it's sort of like a family show, but smart. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he's not he's doing not his material angry. then. It's not nihilistic. I don't. I don't. I don't. I didn't get that feeling. So none of his materials on it, though. Um, he voices the father. Okay. So I don't want to watch it now. Oh, is it? I off? like his it's material. It's That's an why it's animated. Yeah. Mm. So they just made it. Yeah, a quote. I, I liked it. I liked it a lot. I think, okay. I think it, they did a really great job, and it was really well done. That's awesome. So instead mm -hmm. of animation, what are you doing? What do you? What's your next phase? Um. I am. I wrote a drama pilot. And oh, then, I remember um, seeing you like I'm saying during the writing. pandemic, you went down like a writing. You decided to like pursue. You dabbled, but then you were like, "I'm in a pandemic, and if I don't do it now, I'm never going to do it." So yeah, I I've been dabbling. I've been secretly writing since college, mm -hmm. sort of like on the side. But like my acting, sort of like luckily, I yeah was booking found and success. Yeah, and I kept doing it. But then when the pandemic hit, and I was like. Oh my God! If I die and I don't do this writing, <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm gonna really regret it. So right. I, was, I just really committed, and I just started taking out all the things that I had been like putting and like didn't finish. Mm -hmm. So I took the time to like rewrite a lot of the stuff. One of the things that I rewrote is a romantic comedy. Nice. Um, I I really I I had a friend of mine read it she's a production no, she's a producer's assistant mm. um and she's korean american and she's also young so i was like okay can you read this because there's like an arranged marriage aspect that yeah. i don't know if they still do that <laughs> yeah. yeah it's called I'm prostitution like, not really <laughs> i'm just kidding it's not prostitution no. No, no. <laughs> uh, so i was just curious i'm like is that is that a thing because i think it's like arranged marriage is disguised as like yeah fixing it, it oh, fixing yeah. people up but it's yeah. really like behind the scenes sort yeah. of corroboration happening yeah yeah for yeah, sure like i think parents bribe their kids they're like oh if you marry this kid we'll put the down payment on your I, house i think right, you right, i right. think you find that like in filipino families and indian families like uh, well, they straight up arrange marriages. Yeah. Like they're but, not even. But joking. still, you know what I mean. It's, it's still. But if you're Korean American prominent. or you're like Asian American, we're pretty much liberated for yeah. the most part. So True. you'd have to bribe them, like she's yeah. saying. Like you'd have to be but like, are we? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're not. But I like, get what you're saying. But though. you can't just outright and be like, you know, you're marrying this guy's 
son because our families have done that in america now it's like i'll pay off your medical you know yeah. school if you'll go on three dates with yeah this harvard graduate guy who will give us great kids yeah and you're like i'll go out on the dates it's not marriage and then it's three more dates and then it's yeah. an engagement and then it's a divorce no <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah so i i I think it's morphed into that what you described. Yeah, so it's, it's like yeah. you know you have so to. So did so did she like it? She did. Yeah, good. And she actually really loved the guy because I I wrote I wrote like what I wanted to see in an Asian male oh, acting nice yeah. of interest. So I made him like really sensitive mm. but funny and. Like, oh, he's I, a Libra. <laughs> who, who, who are you writing for in your head? Who's the actors that you have in your mind? That you're who's playing the roles in your head? I actually don't know who the female character would be, but she would have to be like Jennifer Aniston. Oh. No, it's Korean. I mean, it's Amer- It's Asian Americans, right? Asian American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she was so cute because she went and casted it. She found a she found a comedian, Korean American guy, uh. Brian Park. Oh, oh yeah, he's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh my God, I would love he's to perfect. see perfect. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. he has the look and everything. I was like, actually, that's really good casting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, good job. <laughs> okay, we're, we're almost out of time, but I just want to ask you real quick. So, are you, do you? You're a cartoonist, obviously. You write what they're saying. Are you writing all the characters? Like I see the yeah. book behind you. Yeah, drawing. So, do you? Are you physically drawing? Or are you doing it on the computer? What's your process? Oh, I actually physically draw it. On okay paper with a pencil and then I ink it and then I wait for it to dry and then I erase it and then I scan it. So you are putting it in the computer. After She's you're a done legit and, yeah. like, you know, OG. Yeah. Well, like, I, I, I always ask artist process. That's why. And everyone has a different process because I started painting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, when and did I you don't do, know when um, did that happen when I got back from Spain. So the, I, I have a whole um, it's the first set of paintings I'm doing is called a cock line. So nope. it's all f- uh, paintings of different cocks. Nope. from Because in Hawaii, there's so many chickens everywhere. Not touching it. And they, it. some of them have helmets and all these different nope. looks of cocks. Nope. So just like the first one I, I just did is I, I drew a cock on a Here bunch of go. baby blocks. So the first one's called Cock Block. Oh, my God. You know what I mean? But chickens are so prominent <laughs> in Hawaii that I thought, what do I see all the time? And what? I, what anyway, I always want to find out what the process is that people That's do. That's how we're going to end our show. oil? I, um, what is the one that dries quickly? Water paint. Water. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm just learning. That's why. why. why? I'll send it to you. Tell me if you like it. I, I sent. I kind of think I'm gonna like it. Yeah. I right? sent it to I a couple friends, and art. they and they didn't get it, but were cracking up at it because they're like, "What's well, called cock block?" That's why. <laughs> what, well, what I was envisioning in my head when you're describing it is uh-huh. like these really detailed oil paintings of a cock with like. A helmet. <laughs> That's a good idea too. Yeah, I just don't encourage him, Lila. <laughs> Y'all just met. Painting. You have no idea what. Hey, you're we're doing. artists. We're don't, connecting right now. Don't Le- give him leave any us fuel alone. for the fire. Lila, you are awesome. Congratulations on all your success. Oh, I can't wait to Thank go you. and get all your books. Tell everybody your website again. AngryLittleGirls.com. Yeah, and the new one that's coming out is. The book is going to be out before Mother's Day. It's okay. Angry Little Asian Girl Moments with My Mother. That's so awesome. Nice. What a brilliant idea. And I uh, <laughs> hope to see you in Hawaii soon. Are you going to come visit us? She's coming. Yes, I'm going to come visit you guys. All she right. loves Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah. yeah, I would live there if I could. Yeah. Right on. Well, thank you for joining us and Thanks taking the time out of your girl. schedule. Congratulations. Boop. Thank you guys for watching the extra version on YouTube. Brandon. It's a Hawaii thing. We'll see you next time.